Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School. I'm here with Bob. We're back to fuel testing, and today it's the one that everybody's been wanting, C16. And no matter what happens today, we're gonna crown a winner because we've come to the end of our fuel testing. So at the end of this video, yep. either C85 or yep. C16 is gonna make the most horsepower. I'm excited, you're excited, stay tuned. All right, so C16 is yes. up to bat. It is in the ring. It's going to see if it can take down C85. It's Babe Ruth, man. It it's is. a home run or it's a whiff. It's it, one of the one other. One of the two. And, no and like we were saying, at the end of the day, this is going to crown the winner of the fuels. Fuels. But we're not done. No. So what else are we going to do, Bob? We've got, uh, okay, so, so far we've tested fuels. If mm -hmm. you guys have seen, we've tested additives. We tested boosting, which mm -hmm. was added into 93. And then still yet to come, we're testing injections or whatever you want to call it, which means we're going to test meth injection, uh, water injection, and then boost juice, which comes from snow. Yeah, so, and basically we're using a snow meth kit on the, this Corvette. That's correct. Uh, that's what we've got installed on here, and yep. so we're going to test those three and see which makes the most horsepower. And then we'll also compare it to our uh, winners here and see what the best combo yeah. of... Yeah, is know, there a fuel that makes, you yeah. know, something better than just... Just straight up fuel. Exactly. Is it a fuel plus meth injection? Yep, fuel so while we are crowning a winner, we are yes. by no means done. We're not done. There is other weight classes yes. that are still going to fight yes. later on. Yes. So make sure that you keep watching after this that, yes. you know, you catch those other ones. I think ones. they want to know. I think you they know do too. They're, they're watching. They, like, they definitely know. are, yeah. So let's talk about C16. Yes. First thing, what is it? Okay, so is what I would describe as an old school ray fuel. Yes, okay. and it is VP's oldest fuel. I don't know if it's the or, oldest. Or one of their older ones. I don't I mean, know. It's, it's been around a long time. It's definitely one of their older ones. Um, it is leaded. Okay. And it has an octane, a average, Ron plus Mon divided by two, of 120 plus. That's a lot. That's all the octane. That's crazy that's, high. Yeah, that's a lot of it's not. Uh, I mean, that's a good thing. Yes. Um, and then you said it was leaded, correct? It I, is leaded. I did hear you say that. Yes. Okay, so we got pretty much the basis of what the fuel yep. is. Yep. So now that you guys have an understanding of that, let's talk about um, what we're looking at as far as horsepower numbers. Sure. It's really why everyone's here. Sure. Right? So we're looking at for previous best. So the previous champ, which is C85, mm -hmm. VP C85. If you guys didn't catch that video, make sure you go back and check it out. Yeah. But that is 629 and 556. Now, just C16 made 605 and 528. That's right. So C85 is officially the champion the highest horsepower making fuel that we tested. That's correct. Now, this is the best non-ethanol fuel that we tested. Correct. But, we're I mean, we're guys here. We want to know yes. most What's horsepower, yes, period. Absolutely. And it's definitely that one. Yes. This one's still good, sure. but definitely runner up to this one. Yep. But very, very close. Like, at the end of the day, they really did come out fairly close to each other and a little bit closer than even I thought that they were going to. I mean, C16 and MS109 were one horsepower apart. They, they really were. And that's the closest competitor yes. to C16. In a gasoline format. Right. Very, very Is the MS109. And that's, that's the fuel that we, the literal last video yes. um, we did Absolutely. was MS109. Absolutely. All right. So we've got that figured out. Yes. The champ, you know, he's the king. Ding, Is ding, what, ding. I mean, that's the, what the numbers show. Yes. But let's talk about... Um, Pros and cons for this particular fuel. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to start with cons. So the first one is you were saying that this thing burns really slow. Oh my, it burns slow. And interestingly enough, while C16 made great horsepower, yeah. it also made the worst horsepower. When we put this thing in, yep. without putting a tune in it, yep. it made 10 less horsepower than 93. It did. It burns slow. So if you know a guy... <laughs> At the track, just dumping it in. Who's just dumping it in? Nah, probably not a good. You idea. probably should tell him to stop doing that yeah. because it literally, like, you and me cracked up. Yeah, we we were laughing our butts off we because did. it actually made so much worse fuel, you know, so much more worse horsepower. Yeah, it was terrible. I mean, not to say the fuel's bad. It's just an old design of fuel and it burns slow. So if you, which you, is good in a way, it's good in a way. I but mean, now when you're not tuning, yeah, you have to return. The, the, you have to. This is of all the fuels, the mm -hmm. ones that absolutely has to be retuned in terms of the gasoline fuels the, the the most because the power difference from say 18 degrees of spark advance mm -hmm. made i want to say 564. yeah 10 less and, than pump gas and then we went to 24. yeah so then and it got us 605 our 605 number, so a yeah. huge range of you know spark advance from 18 to 24 and then power output from 564 to 605 so those are big variances yeah absolutely so if you didn't retune it you'd be going slower and i have experienced that at the drag strip as i've been there a lot and i've yes. seen that happen a lot of guys were like i'm like are you 
planning on retuning this before you go <laughs> like, past? No. Like, oh, no, this will be better. I'm yeah. Like, mm, no. not, not so good. Here's your proof. Not a good idea. Not so good. Um, they're going to have to retune. But absolutely. retuned, it did. it's the champion of the non-ethanol-based fuels. Yep, absolutely. All right, so another con, leaded. Yes. So this thing's going to eat your O2 sensors at some point. At some point it will, it, yeah. Depending on how much you're using it. Now, yeah. this C7 obviously does, in fact, have O2 sensors in it, but, right. I mean, we maybe did five or six pulls with the thing. So sure. it's not going to eat your O2 sensors in five or six pulls. No. But, but eventually, it your application. You're not going to put it in and go road course racing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, I wouldn't. It would probably kill the O2s at some point on the weekend. Yeah. Um, and marine, definitely not if you had, you know, I'm not a marine expert, but mm -hmm. if you had that sort of thing in it, yeah, that absolutely. would be a problem. Yeah, and then again, same as always, sure. expensive. expensive. What we found um, was about $82 yeah. for a five-gallon five pail, which is comparable to all about 103 bucks. and... Yep. You know, right. 109. They're about as the close as prices they are in horsepower. They are. Uh, you know, so it really just depends on what you're really looking for yeah. at the end of the day. So let's talk about pros. Definitely, like we've already been saying, sure. best power on a non-ethanol fuel. Yep. Really, really great at that. Yep. Um, best detonation resi resistance yeah, of anything we tested. It really was not I mean, an issue. It, it, it's definitely got the highest octane. Mm, yeah. Um, and that, you know, that's the last pro is that it's definitely got the highest octane. Absolutely. Um, those are all really great things, especially if you're in a hardcore drag racing application. Absolutely. Which kind of brings us to what our applications are. Yeah, it kind of limits in a, in terms of an EFI car, you know, especially anything running an O2 sensor, which is most of your cars. It's basically a drag race only fuel. Yeah. Short term, couple blasts, won't hurt anything, you're fine. But yeah. you run it full time or a long time, just plan on buying O2s. Yeah, I mean, it's, and to some guys, I know guys that they're totally fine with that. Yeah. There's guys at home where yeah. you guys go, you know what, I'll just buy O2s. O2 sensors yeah, keep every, every so often. Sure. Yeah, I'll bring four to the track or something. Sure. And that's fine. If you guys are that guy, mm -hmm. absolutely go for it. Just realize that it's going to happen given the properties of the leaded fuel. It's just going to happen. Yep, absolutely. So yeah. that pretty much covers the applications. Yes. That wraps up the fuel series. For fuels only. For fuels only. But like I said. Winner. Other weight classes are coming up. That's so right. the next video you guys are actually going to see is us testing water mm -hmm. on 93 octane pump gas. Yeah, water injection. We're going to test all of the injection stuff yep. on 93 octane pump gas. And so you're going to see water, like you said, mm -hmm. the boost juice, which yep. is the water and meth. Yep. And then we're going to test just straight. And this should meth. cover a lot of different crowds of guys watching. Because, you know, like from my experience, the Ford guys are usually like, oh, water injection, water, it's got to be water. And then, you know, you get your other side, the, you know, the GM crowd, which is typically meth injection. Mm -hmm. And everybody says theirs is the best because of this or that. So, you know what? Here we are. We're testing it. And uh, we're going to see who, who makes, uh, you know, the best power. Yeah, it should be really interesting. So for more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned.